Planetary winds and periodic winds Three major wind systems of the world are recognized. The first one is planetary winds. Winds that blow all the time in the same areas of the world are called permanent winds or prevailing winds or planetary winds. Planetary winds which blow in tropical latitudes blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt and are called trade winds. The name trade is derived from a nautical expression to blow tread, meaning to blow along a regular path or tread. Due to the Coriolis effect, these winds blow as the northeast trade winds in the northern hemisphere and the southeast trade winds in the southern hemisphere. The region of thunderstorms where the trade winds converge is called the intertropical convergence zone. Trade winds are regular in strength and in direction. They are permanent winds. But in the Indian Ocean and some parts of the Southwest Pacific Ocean, they are reversed in summer by the monsoons. Planetary winds which blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt are known as westerlies. These winds are southwest in the northern hemisphere and northwest in the southern hemisphere. Westerlies are not constant in strength and direction as the trade winds. The region of the westerlies is characterized by frequent cyclones and anticyclones. Westerlies winds are more constant and strong in the southern hemisphere because there are no large land masses to interrupt them. In some places they become so strong that these winds are known as the Roaring Forties or the Brave West Winds or the Furious Fifties. Planetary winds that blow from the polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt are called polar easterlies. These winds are northeast in the northern hemisphere and southeast in the southern hemisphere. Polar winds are extremely cold as they come from the ice cap region. The polar winds are deflected the most. They are deflected as much as 90 degrees from their normal course until they blow directly from the east. In the northern hemisphere, these winds take a variety of directions due to local weather disturbance, but they are more regular in the southern hemisphere. The second major wind system is that of the periodic winds, which blow during a particular period of the day or season of the year. Small-scale winds occur as a result of localized differences in pressure and temperature and therefore periodic winds are also called local and regional winds. Local winds affect only limited areas and blow for a short period of time. Most local winds are developed by temperature depression. There are two types of local winds. The first type is called depression winds. Air is drawn in from tropical regions in front of the depression, which gives rise to hot winds. These winds are usually hot and dusty and become humid when they cross a sea surface. Sirocco is a hot, usually springtime wind, blowing from the Sahara in Africa to the Mediterranean coast. In Egypt, this type of wind is known as the Khamsin. Another category of hot winds called Lu blow usually in the afternoon in the plains of northern India during May and June. Brickfelder is a hot, dusty wind blowing south from central Australia, while Leviche is a pleasant, moist but hot wind that brings mild weather to the Mediterranean. When air is drawn in from the polar regions, in the rear of the depression, it gives rise to cold depression winds. These winds are very strong, gusty and bitterly cold. Mistral and Pampero are two examples of cold winds. Pampero is a dry, bitterly cold wind 
that sweeps the pampas of South America, while Mistral is a violent, dry, cold wind that blows along the coasts of Spain and France. The second type of local winds are known as descending winds. These are warm winds which descend from the mountain slopes onto the lowlands. As the air rises up the windward side of the mountain, it cools at the rate of 1 degree Celsius per 165 meters. This applies to unsaturated air. As the air rises higher, the air gets saturated and condensation takes place. Saturated air cools at the rate of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius per 165 meters. After crossing the mountain, the air descends and warms up as it goes down the mountain side. Warm air can hold more water vapor, so the air becomes unsaturated and it warms at the rate of 1 degree Celsius per 165 meters. Chinook and Fawn are two examples of descending winds. Chinook is a warm, dry wind that blows down the eastern slopes of the Rocky Mountains of North America. And Fawn wind blows down the leeward slope of a mountain. It is very dry and hot. Local winds are also known as land and sea breezes. Unequal heating of air over land and water results in land and sea breezes. While the land is warm during the day, air above it rises and a cool breeze blows in from the sea. As the land cools off at night, air pressure over it increases and a cool breeze blows out to the sea. The monsoon winds are also categorized as periodic winds. These winds are seasonal winds characterized by a complete reversal in their direction from one season to another. They blow from the sea to the land in summer and from the land to the sea in winter. Monsoon winds are best developed over the Indian subcontinent. Asia lies in the northern hemisphere. In June, the rays of the sun fall directly on the Tropic of Cancer and the region experiences summer. The land mass of Asia gets heated and a low pressure develops over the land. On the other hand, the Indian Ocean remains relatively cold during this period and a high pressure exists over it. Moisture-laden winds blow from Australian high pressure over the Indian Ocean to the more intense Asian low pressure. Winds blow from the horse latitude high pressure across the equatorial low pressure to the more intense Punjab low pressure. Winds that blow out of this region follow the direction of the prevailing trade winds in the southern hemisphere, which is southeast in direction. On crossing the equator, they are deflected and blow as the southwest monsoons. Whereas in December, the rays of the sun fall directly over the Tropic of Capricorn. The land mass of Asia cools down rapidly and a high pressure exists over it. The Indian Ocean, on the other hand, remains warm with a low pressure over it. Dry winds blow from the land to the sea. Winds blow from the Punjab high pressure to the equatorial low pressure and they follow the direction of the prevailing trade winds, which are northeast in the northern hemisphere. On crossing the equator, they get deflected and blow as the northwest monsoons.